want to quote to you out of the Quran. The Quran said in Surah 25, 59, the world was created in six days. And there's another chapter that said the world was created in eight days. In Surah 41, verse 9 from to 12. Now, how can, can you explain to me the ultimate miracle? How can who, it be the ultimate miracle? Who, who's talking about... Who, who, did I ever use the word ultimate miracle? Yes. When? Uh, three years before. No, 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 but I... No. <laughs> hold but it, hold it. Is the, is the Quran the ultimate miracle? Can you, can you answer me that? Uh, just a minute. I did... I would like to qualify that I asked specifically. Can you please... Don't quote what was written five years ago or what was said ten... I said what is said I'm here tonight. I'm quoting from the uh, Quran. No, no, I'm saying now, uh, his question is, did he say so tonight? So That's it can't be an uh, ultimate miracle if these two verses contradict each other. The one says six and the other said eight. Now explain to me that. Right, now give me that reference to eight. You said eight days. Just give me the reference, I'll check it up for you. Give me that reference you gave. It's Surah 25. 25, just one second. Verse 59. Right, 2559. And the other one is... No, 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 I'll deal with that. See, the six days we had agreed. The Bible said six days, the Quran says six days. Now we're talking about eight days. Let us see what it says. He who created the heavens and the earth and all that is between in six days and is firmly established on the throne of authority God most gracious ask thou then about him of any acquainted with such things there's nothing about eight days here well I'll, I'll put you the other one you read the priest the other one please oh. Shh. Um, Surah 41 from verse 9 to oh, 12 41 you had told me 25 59 41 from verse 9 to 40. 12. Let me get one forty-one first. 41. From 9 to 12. 9 to 12, right. Right, I'm reading now. 9. Say, is it that ye deny him who created the earth in two days? And do ye join equals with him? He is the Lord of all the worlds. He set on the earth mountains standing firm, high above it, and bestowed blessings on the earth and measured therein all things to give them nourishment in due proportion in four days, in accordance with the needs of those who seek sustenance. Moreover, he comprehended in his design the sky, and it had been as smoke. He said to it, and to the earth, come ye together, willingly or unwillingly. They said, we do come together in willing obedience. So he completed them at, as seven firmaments in two days. And he assigned to each heaven its duty and command, and we adorned the lower heaven with lights and provided it with God. Such is the decree of him, the exalted in might, full of knowledge. So four plus two and two is? Right. <laughs> right, thank you. Uh, you see, there is a very comprehensive commentary. If you read the commentary, if you read the commentary, it would have answered your problem. But unfortunately, you see, you're just now quoting something and you don't read what the whole thing is all about and you're jumping into conclusion. Best thing, if you haven't got this, you remember the previous questioner asked what book this is. So I said, this is a translation by Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Right, I've got the very same one. Right. You get that? No, I've got it. Right. That's then you I read the commentary, it answers your problem. Uh, right. I don't agree that the Quran is the ultimate miracle. You see? No, thank you very much. Uh, there is a question coming to the microphone. Shh, silence, please. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Dr. Didat, what day is it today? Is that the, just, uh, let's, uh, just, you, just one thing minute please uh, I'm going to allow you one question so please ask the pertinent question and yes. otherwise if you're going to have one I leading to, up I, I might stop you at the wrong place that's right I want to relate it to the scripture I want to know what day it is today all right I can answer that to you 
Thank you. It's Tuesday, the 12th. It is Tuesday, the 12th. Right. Home, 1900? 88. 88. When has that started? What means 1988? No, 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 no. You're referring to the year of the law type of thing. The law. Yeah, that but means no, the Lord this. has created that day when the start of the Bible, of the New Testament, from that day, when you go back to history, 640 years has the Quran been written. All right, well, now what is the Yesaya, question? Yesaya, sorry. Uh, what is your question to you? My question is, how do you know what you believe is true? Thank you. Thank you. Right, take your turn. Go to the back. <laughs> You see, there are numerous, numerous reasons which makes me to believe that this book is true. Numerous reasons. Number one, this book was given through a man who didn't know how to read or write. What we call an ummi in Arabic, unlettered. He brought this book about. The very physical size of this book. If this was Muhammad's production compared to the Holy Bible, 40 different authors wrote this book. 40 different people went along to produce this book. This is one man job. One man's failure. <laughs> who said that? I said that. Which man? Who said that? No, 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 thank you. Please, 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 don't do that. You see, this book, this book supplies the answer to what Jesus said. He said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. This book guides mankind into all truth, meaning solves all your problems. The Holy Bible doesn't do that. Jesus Christ himself, he says, I got many things to say and you are incapable of receiving it. And he didn't give you and nor uh, uh, the Holy Ghost has told any church in, uh, in this past 2000 years, solution to the problem of race. Solution to the problems of alcoholism. Solution to the problem of surplus women. There are dozens of problems to which this book does not give an answer. Whereas Jesus Christ prophesied that there's somebody coming after me and it is he who will give you solution to all your problems. Then in the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 12, you read there a prophecy. He says, and the book, the book is given to him that is not learned. And Ummi saying, Iqra, read. And he says, Ma ana bi qari'in. He said, I'm not learned. The book, what book is, is he talking about? Which prophet said, I am not learned? Now, if you read the history of Muhammad, his life, the first revelation that was given to him in the cave of Hira, the archangel Gabriel comes to him and commands him in his mother tongue, Iqra, read. And he says, Ma ana bi qari'in. I'm not learned. A word for word fulfillment from the book of Isaiah. Then in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 19, it says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he, that prophet mentioned in 1818, speaks in my name, so I will require it of him. Now, he said, that prophet speaking in my name, in whose name is Muhammad speaking? The Lord's name. No. He says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. So, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Kula Uzubir bin Nas. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Every chapter of the Quran begins with the formula, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Now, these are all the fulfillments which goes to prove that the Quran is the word of God.